Hello. Storm Bert arrives during the next 24 hours, bringing with it a multitude of weather hazards from wind and rain to significant snowfall in places. At first, on Friday night, it's relatively quiet. There are clear spells out there, and as a result, especially where we've got snow cover, temperatures will fall away by midnight. Minus threes and minus fours across central and eastern parts of Scotland, minus one or so in eastern England. But cloud, wind and rain is increasing from the west, this ahead of Storm Bert. And that rain as it bumps into the cold air will fall as snow for a time for parts of Northern Ireland, especially over hills, likewise for mid to north Wales. You can see the temperature contrast as milder air arrives, 11 or 12 Celsius in Cornwall, sub-zero in the east and the north of the UK. And that's why, whilst it turns quickly back to rain for Northern Ireland and Wales, we'll see two to four hours of heavy snow across parts of Northern England and Scotland during Saturday morning. Now, this snow will accumulate thick and fast with five to 10 centimetres at lower levels and as much as 20 to 40 centimetres over hills. Accompanied by strong winds, you can expect blizzards over hills across Northern England and Scotland, atrocious conditions for travelling and going over the hills and also the risk of power interruptions because of snow buildup on power lines. So all in all, uh, multiple uh, hazard event as we go into Saturday morning. Now, during Saturday morning, the snow and rain will move northeastwards and by lunchtime, temperatures will be rising quickly as the strengthening southwesterly winds bring milder air from the Atlantic. As a result, quite quickly by the afternoon, any snow will turn back to rain and a rapid thaw will set in. Now, the melting snow and the heavy rain could lead to uh, localised flooding in places, but the wettest spots would be Wales in the southwest, particularly over south-facing hills. That's where we're likely to see uh, gales and uh, certainly the risk of impacts from wind as well as from rain. Here's a summary of the warnings that are in place at the time of recording for the UK this weekend, but do check the latest details online, Met Office website and app, because these warnings may well be updated. Here are the rain and snow warnings. Northern Ireland, a transient spell of snow predominantly over hills during the early hours of Saturday before turning back to rain. And for Northern England and Scotland, two to four hours of heavy snow, five to 10 centimetres at lower levels, 20 to 40 over hills, followed by a rapid thaw and with rain expected later could cause issues. Amber warning there for central Scotland. But uh, as I say, stay up to date with the very latest details that you can find online. These are the wind warnings and it's western coasts at first, but later on eastern coasts. And then on Saturday night into Sunday, southern coasts, where there's the risk of 60, perhaps even more than 70 mile per hour wind gusts in places. And finally, the rain will be another issue. Despite it being a dry November so far, Wales in the southwest at risk of seeing 75 mils widely, more than 100 over higher parts of South Wales and Dartmoor. And the rain continues across England and Wales right the way through Saturday night and into Sunday. Spells of wet weather sweeping across the whole of the UK. And by this stage, it will be rain falling and not snow because of this very, very mild airflow from the southwest. A remarkable uh, increase in temperatures during Saturday and into Sunday. So much so that by Sunday morning, having started Saturday with several centimetres of snow, in some places, we're going to see temperatures in the teens as we start Sunday. And it's a wet, windy start to the day for England and Wales. Spells of heavy rain moving through. Showers replacing the more persistent rain across Scotland and Northern Ireland. And there will be brighter spells, but uh, increasing winds later in the day for Western Scotland and Northern Ireland. And we'll see this continued swathe of strong winds affecting the south coast with, like I say, 50 to 60 mile per hour gusts. And in some places, more than 70 Lots going on this weekend. Stay tuned to the Met Office YouTube channel where we'll continue to uh, provide regular video updates. And of course, you'll find lots more on our social media channels. Bye bye.